Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more Medieval Kingdoms Total War 1212 AD campaign. We're playing as the Byzantine Empire reforged from the Empire of Nicaea. So guys, if you still are enjoying this series and would like to see more, the best way to ensure more content is to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here with notifications on, and let me know in the comment section down below feedback and suggestions for the series thus far. Feel free to leave a dislike if you're not enjoying it, of course, and will prefer me to Let's Play another strategy game on the channel instead. So welcome back to the 1212 AD campaign. Just to remind you guys that we are using an early access build. I've got to say a huge thank you to the mod team for providing me a copy and allowing me to start this Byzantine Let's Play. So a huge thank you to all the mod developers over there. So, the main objective for this series is to take Constantinople. We did that in the last episode to take the uh, sit, holy city of Rome and reforge the Roman Empire. In today's episode we're going to be attacking the last remnants of the Latin Empire and hopefully killing their faction leader as they have overextended in today's episode. So we're using an alpha build of 1212 AD so I do profusely apologize that there's no way you guys can get uh, this mod at the moment. Okay so Let's get stuck into the campaign. In the last episode, we managed to take Constantinople. We have Emperor Theo here. Nicaea, of course. We've got one, two, three, four, five territories. So we're going to be going after the Latins here today. The Venetians have secretly sent their heir to attack me on the coast here. So that's something we should deal with. I have my older brother and heir, Michael, nearby. He could go down and help with the garrison. So diplomacy wise we currently have a defensive alliance with the Kingdom of Salacia as I have married my brother Michael to a Salatian princess. I have a military access with the Tsardom of Bulgaria. I'm still at war with Thessalonica, the Greeks, the Emperor, uh, Empire of Trebizond, the Latin Empire, and Venice. We've got a lot of good relations with the Catholic Kingdoms, which is great to see. I haven't actually seen, for my own curiosity, if I can marry into, into any other houses. I do have a lot of brothers, so we could somehow secure and extend our lineage if we can. But by the look of it... It doesn't look like it's applicable at the moment. That's a shame. We'll try to get trade rights with Epirus, but we'll see how we go. We've finally got better quality relations with them. But at the moment, we're doing well. We have 6,000 in the bank, making 3,000 per turn. Technology-wise, we're going down the windmill side of the tree to get better quality olive, wheat, pig, sheep, and dairy farms and mills. At the moment, objective-wise, we pretty much are free to do uh, whatever we want. Uh, I'll try and marry off some of my my brothers if I can. Can I push them up higher into any position? Oh, no! Did I lose a child? Oh! Stillborn. Did that happen this turn? Oh, I didn't even know that. Oh, that's a shame. I've only got two daughters, Irene and Maria. Theo is still the emperor there, and he's still got a lot of sons to take up the throne, which is great. Regardless, we're going to hit the Latin Kingdom here today. We're going to have an attack at Henry. Four units of cavalry, two crossbowmen, two bowmen, two units of minor spear militia sergeants. We do outnumber him quite well. I could swing in more reinforcements. However, I feel like my force is large enough and strong enough to do some damage and we can kill the faction leader of the Latin Empire. So let me know in the comments, guys, where you'd like me to expand. I could do maybe a, a world conquest if you guys support it. But we're going to be fighting Henry on the field of battle here today on the... Uh, What's this? Pergamon coastline, if you will, in Anatolia. So we want to focus on consolidating our rule in the east. Getting Anatolia and Greece into our domain is imperative. We want to finish off the other Byzantine or Byzantine aristocratic uh, kingdoms, Trebizond, the Greeks, 
Thessalonica, um, and Epirus as well, knocking out, I don't know which ones exactly are, Bar- uh, Byzantine aristocrats. I think that was four, or was it five? Anyway, they're nearby, na- they're, they're neighbours, so... I need to get rid of them as quickly as possible. Then we'll push up through the Italian peninsula. We could go on a crusade, help the crusade states. But I thought it'd be quite cool if we actually managed to gain uh, Moscow territory up in the north in Russia. As uh, some of you may know, that Moscow is often referred to as the third Rome, depending on who you're asking. Okay, so let's start the deployment here now. A nice flat terrain against the Latin Kingdom. We had the siege of Constantinople in the last. Having a medieval 1212 AD field battle will be good. So here is some of the official units. They look fan-bloody-tastic. Okay, so let's see what we're working with. So we could actually funnel them in. If we had a lot more men... It would be better. But regardless, we can make do with a lot of this. So, let's make a pike line at the front. I think that's our best bet. So, if we can sort of match what they're going for, that'd be good. So, a strong pike line here would be fine. If I can move you here, that would be much better. Uh, so, we go with the biggest with the smallest, and then we even it out. Okay. So, we did have the siege in the last episode. So, some of my guys are a little bit exhausted. We do have skirmisher supremacy on our hands, so you never know, they might sort of come in for an attack, but we'll see how we, we do. Okay, I'll try and spread out my archers as best we can. I don't want to push it too much because we could get flanked. They do have their own cavalry. Peltasts should be closer now thinking about it. And we'll put the archers a little bit further back. So Peltasts can sit there. Archers can be intertwined behind it. We'll put the Emperor just behind the front line. Okay, we'll split the Cataphractoi as well. So we'll go with the right flank here. With you guys. And then we'll go with the, the left flank here. Okay, let's start the battle and have a look at some of our men. So we've got the heavy Cataphractoi on the left hand side here famous Skatari swordsman I'd love to get some Cairo ballista that would be awesome pikes at the ready pushing further back to Theo the Emperor himself the man the myth the legend with the Byzantine double eagle standard and I don't think they're going to to move against me we'll see how we go though 50 minutes remaining. You will lose if the timer runs out. So we're coming up against just their stock standard spear militia. They do have some of their own Latin bodyguard. But regardless, let's uh, control A. And let's alt and move, I guess. Drag this up to about here. So did that work properly? Or did it just reform fucking everything? Why'd it do like that? I think I fucked it up. I might need to redo that again. That's not too bad, but that's not it exactly. Regardless, move everyone up. Allow my archers to... Yeah, I don't know. I guess it fucked up like these guys who were in the loose formation that threw everything off. Regardless, we're moving into position now. I don't often use the alt mouse button because... I like to constantly adapt in the battlefield. I like to keep a strong front line, but I like to keep them. I always constantly move and change it, but I need to learn how to use it. I've just always not used it. <laughs> Some people constantly use the left mouse button and drag, but yeah. And I might perform better if I do it. Okay, so we'll move up here. We have skirmisher supremacy, so we can actually get some good range on them. I reckon they've got light bowmen. What do we got? Medium bowmen. Oh, we actually got the range on them. Okay, so we're moving into position now. Yeah, why did it thin them out so much? That's odd. Okay, advance. Slowly but surely moving up. I'll keep my cavalry nearby as well. Ready to act. We're going to push up into a position. We're going to cop some fire, which... Look, we'll see how we go. Um... 
The problem is our pikes. We don't want to get charged straight up. We also want to use our cavalry to our advantage. It might be... Actually, it might be better off just to charge everyone in. Like, try and move everyone up as best we can. Because we do have melee supremacy. Try and engage it, I think. Because I want my pikes to get stuck into active duty. I don't want to really want them to get s sit back here and get uh, hit at. So we'll try and go and soften up their own cavalry, I guess. Then maybe have a quick at some of those swordsmen. Have a crack with my skirmishes against theirs. Okay, we're moving into a better position now. We'll try and get up and around them. Yeah, so try and like hit that. Hit these clusters. And then sit there. Okay. Keep going forward where you can. Keep on marching through. Go further up and around. So they're starting to charge now. Which against pikes isn't too bad. It's when they start going after... Infantry it gets iffy. Okay. Swing. Swing. Engage. Go, go, go. Alright, move these guys in. We need to get up and around the back. Go, 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 go. We can't sit idly by or otherwise we're going to lose. Go around the back quick. Because we can't stay too long. Alright, they're gone. That's good. Swing. Alright, they're going to buckle. Okay, we're taking out their skirmishes now. Alright, now push further up the line. Mm. Chase them. Don't allow them to get through. That's okay, you get engaging them, that's fine. Chase them down. Keep the king further in. I want to try and get some cinematic shots for this, but it might be a little bit difficult, because now these guys are flanking. Okay, now swing, swing, swing. Archers stay in formation. Alright, let's get the cataphractoid to come around the back and get a good charge in. That's good, that's fine. Uh, they need help here. Alright, swing around the back. And let's go for another cycle charge. Swing around that. Swing higher up. Sensor marches after theirs. They're dragging them out. God, this turned into a bit of a mess here. More than my liking. My general's now engaging theirs. That played to their advantage. Because cycle charging is crucial in this mod. Okay, get my archers to focus on their general. Swing mine to double around. And yeah, my infantry's been shattered, really. Fuck's sake. Cataphractoi is engaging theirs. I've got my own cataphractoi here around the back. Sitting idly by. God, their cavalry's quick, though. Get my skirmishes to halt and skirmish at will. Oh, they've been caught there, those guys. I'm gonna need to send re I need to send reinforcements over there. Okay, so we've got their general now. But it just shows you how strong the cataphractoi are. They've just beaten a general's bodyguard in hand-to-hand -hand combat. And a lot of these guys are still sticking around. Crikey. Okay, so we just need to get rid of their general. But, at the end of the day, we are fighting their faction leader. So he's going to be rather tough. The enemy general is now dead. And what are we looking at? Oh, 700 lost. Shit. Maybe I'm too overcompetent. 
confident and competent in the ability. I'm confident, and I think that my units aren't competent enough. That's what I was trying to fucking say. We've got the day, but I feel like the casualties could have been a lot less. They got dragged out and done. Even though two units of spearmen couldn't get that cavalry. Now, victory, we have victory. We want to try and run down as many of them as possible. Due to, this isn't a siege. So, we need to destroy these units as best we can. Crush them to a pulp. So they can't come back. Rush the sar- there's 40 there, but grab those sergeants there. Grab them. But victory! We have victory. Worked out alright in the end. Being aggressive. I just didn't want to sit there and then allow their archers to attack my pikemen with impunity. I'd rather charge in. Even though we did have skirmish of supremacy. But there was no way they were going to attack us. We got so close to them. They only really countercharged. Okay. But we only outnumbered them by about 700. Look, the rule of thumb for Total War, like I, I use for all Total War players, as long as you don't. As long as you lose half of what the enemy deploy, um, that's about the rule of thumb. As long as you only lose half of what the enemy deploy. So, decisive victory. Now, if you lose more, that's a poorer result. If you lose less, it's good. So. Theodorus deployed 2,228. We lost 65. They deployed 1,650. So that's not too bad. We could have gone... So eight, if we lost 800, that'd be bad. We are closer to 800 than what I would like. But regardless, let's have a look at the stats. Cataphractoi, 335. My other unit, 192. These guys are the bread and butter of my campaign. I need to get more of them. My other cavalry did do quite well. The 385, 151, however, they sustained mass casualties. We destroyed two units of their uh, spearmen, two units of their pikemen. Their cavalry did quite well. But we have killed the faction leader of the Latin Empire, Henry. Theo's two-star command. Or maybe I'm being a bit more harsh on myself. It was about a 50-50 result. Okay, guys, welcome to the campaign map. So, we've had a decent victory here. We only lost one unit of my early Skatari spearmen, while they nearly lost the entirety of their army. I can kill the captives, or I can take on a 7% replenishment. And I'm inclined to do so, as they are going to be pushing further back within, to the, within their own territory, and they're more than likely going to have, yeah, a city garrison as a reinforcement. I can't push into that, and if I was to push there, I'd have to push to this river basin, which I'm going to do. Okay, I've got a couple of options here. I could not hit that. So, who is the new faction leader of the Latin Empire? Gerard. Or Gerard. Alright, let's chuck a quick save. I feel like the Venetians are going to attack me at any moment. 13 units. Surprisingly, this territory has a large garrison, but let's sweeten the deal by bringing in three units of Skatari swordsmen and some Peltasts as well. Okay, cool. Can we recruit them within a couple of turns? Hmm. No. Let's get two units. Oh. Ah. Is the edict in this region? Right, okay. Does that have to be in the territory? I've got an edict which gives me a plus two recruitment bonus. Still takes two turns, but not bad. Okay, not really much else we can do here. We can sue for peace with the Latin Empire, but I'm not inclined to really to do so. Ven the Venetians, maybe. The Latin Empire only has two territories left, so let's see if Gerard comes out against me here. I wouldn't surprise it wouldn't surprise me if he did to be perfectly honest. Okay, well I think I'm ready to end the turn and continue. Oh no we got some unassigned skills. The just conquerors. Now I believe this is the 
Okay, this isn't the Age of Charlemagne tree, this is the normal one. So, the vanilla tiller one. So, we've got plus five melee attack. I usually like to go for snow immunity, which is good. But I guess we go with um, melee attack. It's probably our best bet. Regardless, let's end the turn and continue. Let's see how the Latin Empire playlist. They've lost Constantinople. They've overextended themselves and lost their faction leader. Let's see if Gerard is as much of a man as Henry was. Let's pray that there isn't any Trebizond sneak attacks either. Okay, so we've got a 3v1 situation here and they've got a they've got a garrison reinforcing. So let's retreat. I'm in no pressure to fight. Will they push me into the mountains? They do! Aha! Uh -huh. Okay. My melee infantry are incredibly weak. But they're attacking me. So Gerard has taken the initiative to push. The, the Venetians didn't even have a chance. Okay, okay. So we're coming up against two units of sergeants, three units of spear militia, three units of bowmen, two crossbowmen, one unit of cavalry, and then that. So they lack cavalry. We've got that going for us. Even though my melee is, let's say, heavily depleted and, quite frankly, shit at the moment, we have cavalry supremacy and cataphractoi. We should be able to do some stuff. Okay, let's fight this one on the battlefield, and hopefully this will be the last that I have to deal with of the Latin Empire. Or maybe the Battle of Misa will be the end of Theodorus, the Emperor. Okay, welcome to the battle map. Can't see fucking shit, uh, which isn't good. However, we will have the high ground and the slope with us. I think it's a lot more beneficial here. It's a much more of an incline. We could fight on the base of this hill, however. But it's further down in the dip. Because uh, they're going to be bank smack here. I think, I think fighting up here is going to be more beneficial. And then we can flank right around into this field. I think that's more beneficial for us. Okay, cool. So, let's go with pikemen first. It's probably our best bet. So, go with this there. Then have our best units on the flank. Oh, this is not going to be good. I can just see this now. So basically, make a new box. Classic. Shield wall. And probably angle you this way like that as well. And how many were you? How many of you were in this? Okay, so... Really, this 53 probably should go there. We are quite sparse. A lot more than what I sort of comprehended, I think. And we'll try and go like this. What I basically want to do is I want to redirect. Yeah, that, that, that's going to get shattered there. This needs to be here. Yeah, that needs to be there. Okay. Put the Emperor here giving us some quality buffs as well. Okay, we'll split the Cataphractoi up as well. Uh, we'll just chuck them here for the time being. And we'll reform this a bit better. Okay, so basically I want to follow you like here, say. And I want you guys to be like, probably in this forest here. Essentially. Okay, the enemy reinforcements have arrived. Look, we're in no rush. We just need to sit back, relax, and allow the enemy to come to me. I should be able to get my cavalry to mash up most of these skirmishes. We should be able to get that going for us. And then... I uh, could push them further into this forest. Then they might be more hidden. Yeah, pull further back here. Okay, let's speed things up and allow the enemy to come to us. I might even just like move my general around a bit so they come up to me okay so it looks like they are coming slowly but surely where they're going through the mountain pass 
Why is there no time limit? They're attacking me, surely. If the timer runs out, I win. Mm, okay. Let's see how this goes. We're on three times speed now. So we are nearly even, so we're going to have to have a better result than last time. Their army will be exhausted. Okay, we probably could expose those. But basically, what we want them to do is come right up and at us. Okay. Now, it has heavy shot on as default, but I don't know if that's the best, because uh, these guys are still like light, aren't they? Uh, they've got some heavy spearmen there. Okay. We could somehow focus on their general. That'd be perfect. So, they're slowly but surely pushing up to me, which is good to see. I'm going to move my cavalry further up here. Because I want them to come about. Are uh, they going to attack me straight on how I want them to? More than likely not. They seem to be... Wandering their units there. Oh, God, I'm tempted. I'm nearly tempted to bring another unit of Cataphractoi over and go for it. Switch sides. If they are stupidly going to allow their shock cavalry to get away from their main line, I think we should go for it. Like, throw everyone in. We just need to wait for them to get more isolated. That's getting close. Yeah, let's go. Go, 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 go. Suicide that in. Get the cataphractoi in here. Kill the general. Turn, 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 turn. No way have they overextended their general like that. No fucking way. It could be a trap, though. There could be some spearmen sk skulking about. Go, go, go. Try and kill them. Why have they gone and done that? That's so weird. I've never seen the Attila AI do that. Are they trying to leave, are they? It looks like they are. It looks like they're trying to leave. God knows. Anyway, my Cataphractor are engaging Gerard here. Okay, so the main line's pushing up. We've still got that cavalry unit far on that other side. No way are we going to kill the enemy general in one fell cataphractoi swoop. The brave men of the Roman Empire have now charged against the Latin Venetian crusader scum. We haven't killed the general just yet. The enemy general's dead. Don't worry about focusing him now. Regrain your strength and we'll push. That's crazy. So are they even heading for me now? Or what are they doing? Well, we've massively got that on our favour. We've neutralised one of... Oh, no. It's still there. It's only seven. Oh, I should have run it down. Regardless, let's have a crack. Cataphractoi charge. You around the front. You around the back. Let's go for a three-pronged attack on some of their cavalry... Uh, their archer units. Charge from the side. Charge from the front. Charge around the back. Spearmen are close by. We should be alright. Charge. Mm, they're getting a bit close here for my liking. Go on, charge! Oh, they're just exhausted, are they? Completely shattered. A volley's come in. Let's fall back. Mm, get closer. Okay, make ready, men. Hold your position. Fire at will. Don't skirmish. Fall further back to encourage the cavalry to give chase. We'll peel one unit of cataphractoi right, peel one left. Yeah, I don't know what they're doing. It seems like they're trying to leave the battlefield. This might be a bug, so 
please do take into consideration that we're still using an alpha version of the 1212 AD mod. Yeah, it seems like they're trying to leave. They're manually trying to leave, which the human player can do. But, yeah, I don't know. They're just trying to surround me, I think, now, which isn't good. That cow, that's come in now. Send you down here. We need to stop this, whatever this is. That's a decent sized cavalry unit. But they're going to outmaneuver me if I don't get cavalry up here. My archers are now firing. Okay. I'm going to give an order to charge that, probably. There's only 24 in that, and there's only 43 in this. We should be able to hit them. We're going to get flanked here if you don't get up here. This is going to be a great charge down the slopes here. For the Emperor! Look at that. Fucking perfect. And that probably should shatter it, I reckon. So they're trying to get around my side here, and they have. I'm going to send my cavalry in. My own general's bodyguard. I knew they were sniffing around there. But now I'm going to be able to hit theirs from the back. Hit that from this... Uh, There's 160 there. Hit that. Hit that. Push higher up here. Okay. Swing this. We'll be alright. Oh, they've charged my front line now. Good. We've smashed that flanking unit. Let's give a fatigue boost here. Okay, good. Good. They're smashing upon my front line like water on rock. Okay, spears are getting flanked here. You can go for this. So they're actually engaging my front line head on, which is fucking perfect. Straight into pikes. I think we've got this now. Would we have won with, with their general? Uh, uh, still in? I don't know. I can't answer that. Okay, we're fighting spearmen now. Okay. I'm going to allow the Emperor to kind of riskily come out. Now let's do some cycle charges in. Let's try and break this heavy spear front line while you push up to that. Form up and then go, I think is probably better. Uh, swing higher up here. Let's just get away from this. Nonsense. Okay, charge. This is going to be a good cycle charge in. To the main line! Brave men of Constantinople! Alright, that's got him. Surely. You'd think. Alright, let's charge in here with other reinforcements. The Emperor! For the Emperor! Now he's getting stuck into it. The thing is, right, he's not a, even an, an amazing Emperor just yet. So, he's actually quite expendable. Because he's got like five brothers as well, and they're all basically as good as him, so... Maybe, in more desperate times like this, we probably should use him. Anyway, let's move my skirmishes further up here. Now, I know there's a lot of... Uh, infantry yet, but I'm nearly keen just to allow my my cavalry to run down these guys because I can't afford for them to run off again. I need to kill as many of the Latin Empire as possible and finally put that disgusting kingdom back in the box from whence it came. Okay, let's uh, try and speed things up. You go for the oh, they've capitulated. Good. Okay, pick a target. Pick a unit, and uh, then double time. Double time against them. Good. We only lost a hundred men. Wow, we lost less in this fight than we did against them in the first battle. Oh, I haven't even realised. I didn't really comprehend. I did a double battle in today's video. So there you go, you cheeky buggers. Enjoy it. I want to make some strides in this episode. I really want to make some moves. Destroying the Latin Empire is definitely a huge move. 
But yeah, I, I, I don't really know why their general unit pushed so far out on the left flank. A bit bonkers, if I say. Go for this. Go for that. Go tit for tat. Good, we got him. Boom! Byzantine will rise. Man. I've said this before, but this is the closest we're going to get probably to a Medieval 3. Uh, Total War Attila is currently on sale, so go check out my G2A affiliation link. If you haven't already, you might be able to pick it up there for quite cheap. Or maybe even the Steam sale. It might be still on by now. Decisive victory, 1,931. And we've smashed them with only 447 remaining. I'm going to take on the replenishments as well. As we're a little bit sparse at the moment. So that's now fled back. We should be able to wrap up. Oh no! Trebizon's now hit me. Oh, for fuck's sake. Damn you, Trebizon. And they've got a reinforcement here. I could win this one. Oh, but that's a pain in my ass, isn't it? Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Well, um, oh, they've even got some, what even is that? Oh, I thought it was like some sort of Praetorian looking guard. Regardless, guys, unfortunately, it's time to end episode two of the Medieval Kingdom's Total War 1212 AD Byzantine Empire campaign on Total War Attila here. Thank you very much for watching. Unfortunately, guys, it is time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know in the comment section down below your feedback for the series. And if you'd like to see more, that's the best way to ensure more content. Leave a dislike if you're not enjoying the series. Check out my social media links if you want to stay connected with me. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all in the description below. Highly recommend Twitter. Every single time I post a video, a tweet goes out. It's much more reliable than the YouTube sub box. These days, to get all the notifications for the channel, you have to click the bell, of course, to join the notification squad. I do enjoy reading those comments. If you guys would like to get yourself some cheap and reliable games, check out my G2A affiliation link in the description below. Maybe you can pick up a strategy game you haven't picked up just yet. Maybe Hearts of Iron, maybe Crusader Kings 2, maybe a Total War. Check out my G2A affiliation link in the description below for cheap and reliable games. I do recommend going and checking out the prices even. There's some really good prices on there. Patreon and merchandise link in the description below along with the Steam group. Come and join the community on Steam. And on that note, unfortunately, I have to end the video here. Thank you very much much for watching once again make sure to take care of yourselves go out and have a fantastic rest of your day my name is been simsy goodbye really close cinematic shots here pushing through the bridge oh look at <laughs> that was probably the shot of the video there